Hello guys, this is Kunal Verma and welcome to my YouTube channel. So through this video, I will be explaining a very important topic which is called as model interpretation. So if you are a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, there is a situation, there is highly likely that you would have come across a situation where you need to interpret your ML models. So I found this amazing library called as Shapeash. It would help you to have feature importance of your columns in your data set. So let's see the Jupyter Notebook for it. Right. So in this uh, tutorial, I would be building a regressor. Then we would be using the smart explainer method. And then I would start the web app and this web app would have all the necessary functionalities of how we can see the feature importance of the data set. Right. So let me import the necessary modules. Now I would be using the data set as the famous house price prediction data set from Kaggle itself. I'm sure you would have come across this data set at some point of time. And let me define the dependent and independent variables. So the Y underscore DF would contain the sales price and all the independent features would go into X underscore DF. And the size of the data set is 1460 rows and 73 columns. So let me see the first five rows of this data set, right? So MS zoning, lot area, street, lot shape, and so on and on. So let me have a quick overview of this data set. So using the describe method, you can have an overview idea of the data set. So as you all know, there would be some categorical features in my data set. So I would be using a library called as category encoders, which would do the task for me. Right. So now comes the training and testing part. So I would be uh, dividing my data set into a train and test split. 75% would be going into the training data set and the remaining 25% would be going into the test set. Right. So this library has been tested for regression purpose only. So you can use any regressor. It should be good to go. Right now I'm using the regressor, which is called as LGBM regressor and the N underscore estimators. I've set value to be 200. You can set any value, whatever you like. Right. So let's have our predictions in an Y underscore red. So now the comes the time to declare and compile a smart explainer. So I would be importing the necessary libraries, right? It's running. I would be instantiating an object from the smart explainer class and assigning it to the variable XPL, right? Let me run the cell. Now it's time to compile our instance. And let's see our app. So the default address that you are seeing would be 0, .0, 0.0.0 with the port number as 8050. But if you go and click this link, it would not show you anything, right? So the workaround is to use your local address and then the port number 8050. So here is our beautiful web app. You can see it for yourself. All the feature importance values are there. You can even filter your data set, right? Amazing. You also have the violent plots with you, right? So super amazing library, right? You can also export this model to a partner's data frame and also you can save it to a pickle file, right? So if you like this video, please share and subscribe my channel and it would be super motivating for me if you could like this video. I would be making amazing content on machine learning, data science and deep learning also. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Thank you.